Hello, hello, Ederson Oliver here. This is the Dean and Tip of the Week. And this week, we'll be talking about security. Yes, there is a new hotfix that has been released by Dean and Corp, which is addressing a security vulnerability that was found in the Telerik controls. By the way, DNN is trying to get rid of Telerik once and for all, and that's coming up very shortly. But in the meantime, we have to address that vulnerability and you need to install this patch, this update. It just installs as a regular module. However, there are a few caveats that I went through on this video where I show what can go wrong and what can you do about that. So let's have a look at that. But before we go to the Dean and Tip of the Week, I want to bring our sponsor. This time around, I am your sponsor. DeskPaul is your sponsor. DeskPaul is my company and we focus on supporting our clients on with their DNN websites. It's hard for me to do an ad on my own company because I would be bragging about myself and oh, that's that does sound right, you know, but I just want to leave you knowing that we work with DNN day in, day out all day long. That's what we do. That's what we have been doing for over eight years now. And that I translate that to, to, to my team as well. That's what we do day in, day out. We help our clients with problems, with support. We pretty much become their DNN wingman. So if you have any problems, if you need support, if you need help with your existing DNN site or maybe a new site, reach out to us, deskpal.com. We can help you with your DNN needs. That's it. Okay, so I put together a DNN 742 website just for us to test installing the critical security update. I am already logged in to the backend as a super user. The first thing that we're going to do before we upload the critical update is we're going to back up the website. Ideally, we should back up the entire website, including the site files and the database. However, if that's too much, which in some cases it might be, there are at least three files minimum that you have to back them up in case something goes wrong with the hotfix. So I have just flipped here to Windows Explorer. I have the site running locally. In your case, you may have to go via an FTP application like FileZilla, but the very minimal files that you should back up before running the patch are the web config file on the root folder of your site and under the bin folder, you should back up the two Telerik related DLLs. So you can see telerik.web.ui.dll and telerik.web.ui.skins.dll. Those are the, the three files, two DLLs and the web.config. In case something goes wrong and you have to revert back, those are the three files that you have to revert back. Let's go to the critical update blog post that was released by Dean and Corp. And we can download the security patch from the download link. So it's just downloading right now. So it's done. I can go and have a look at the downloaded file. First things first, as always, we need to make sure that the file is not blocked. So you right click on the file, we go to properties and we unblock the file just to make sure that it installs correctly. Now with that downloaded, we can go back to the site. And of course, we have backed things up already. We can go to host extensions. This is the installation, uh, just a regular installation of a module. So from here, we click on start extension. We pick the file. Here's the file. We're going to install as a regular module. Nothing special here. All fine. Click return. Now to confirm that the patch was installed properly, you can just scroll down the list of modules and you're going to see the DNN security hotfix 2017.1 has been installed and this is it. This is how you know it has been installed. You don't need to add it to any pages. It just needs to be installed and that's it. Now, a few things that I want to highlight before I let you go. 
this patch is only available for versions of DNN from 7.1.2 and upwards. So, for instance, this case here, it is compatible. But again, not prior to 7.1.2. And you can find that under host, host settings, you can find the version of your DNN platform. Now, another thing that I want to highlight is that you should definitely run the security analyzer tool on your DNN website just to check if there's if it shows up any potential problems. You just have to be mindful that security analyzer has been having updates over time. So you may have an old version of security analyzer in case this is your situation, which it's our situation right here because I can only see three tabs on the security analyzer and they have more tabs. You should definitely consider updating the security analyzer version on your DNN website. And you could do that, by the way, all links will be posted in the video notes. So you can download the most recent version of security analyzer and you can install on your DNN website so you can run the checks and see if there are might, if there might be any suspicious activities like uh, files getting modified or PHP files or files that are not recognized by DNN, so you can run that through the security analyzer and you can install latest version from this link that I'll be sharing with you as well. Now, there are a few potential problems that you can come across. For instance, if your DNN site is set where the maximum file limit is very low, the hotfix may not get uploaded properly because it has uh, you know, it's over 10 megabytes, so you may want to check that. You may get a message saying that it was not possible to upload because the file size has reached its its limit or exceeded the limit. So you may want to have a look at this blog, this documentation to find how you can increase maximum file size. That's one potential problem. The second potential problem is in case your Telerik files are already a version above than the one that comes shipped with DNN itself. Maybe because of a third-party module that you have installed and they brought newer versions of Telerik. So that may cause a conflict that may cause your site from working properly. So that's the reason why you do the backup so you can restore them back. In those cases, if if that might be the case of your Telerik files being newer, you may have to reach out to your module provider to your vendor and then have them addressing that for you. The third problem that we came across is this message. Some sites and some of our client sites, they are getting this message, cannot deserialize dialog parameters, please refresh the editor page. In this case, what I would recommend is that go to the web config file and change the editor provider of your website. I will not go into details of that one because you're gonna to extend too much the video, but if you have any problems, just reach out and I can help you out. The last known problem is that if your DNN site is using a CDN, a content delivery network, you may have to flush out your CDN cache so files get, get replaced and get refreshed there. So that might be another another potential source of problems when you install the hotfix. So that's it. If you have any problems with the critical security update, let me know, reach out and we will be able to help you out. Thanks and bye. If you like this DNN tip of the week and don't want to miss out anyone, subscribe.